Welcome back to Unleashed Everybody. You suck so this you suck timing, that's what we're talking about. But that's my you know what this means, folks? We're going to talk about everything but the game yet again. I don't know. Q, you said you had something about the game to talk about. Well, I wasn't actually talking about the game itself, but, like, you remember the um, little mini movie that they made? Night of the Werehog? Yeah, I, yeah. Actually, I remember about that. I remember watching it. Uh, that well, was pretty good, that actually. Movie. Well, we looked it good. was. What's it? I forget what the whole plot was about, though. I don't know. Like, Sonic and Chip walked into a haunted mansion, and... and stuff happened. Yeah. <laughs> I just remember that it was pretty... Oh, humorous. I'm sorry, and the girl ghost falls in love with Sonic. Okay, then. I left for, like, a second, and this... So, pretty much, like, um... The comics? What? Or at least one of the comics, anyways. There was a comic? Oh, hold on. Segway here. Talk about the comics. That oh. Were, um, Remember, I think it was Sonic Underground? Sonic Underground. How they ended Sonic that? Sonic like, Underground. Sonic Underground. Well, they never really underwear ended. Underground. <laughs> Apparently, the um, it's gonna be a comic that's actually gonna end it. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Number fifty is gonna be referenced in the end of Sonic Underground. I heard about Pretty that. Pretty much any series, so they'll actually finally end it. I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, I never really watched Sonic Underground though. I sadly got a DVD. Not I watched Sonic. <laughs> that ass was anything. The most, the one Sonic TV show I watched the most. <laughs> Is Sonic? Is the yeah. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic X? I never really watched Sonic X. I mean, my first experience on YouTube of watching them, Cliff Sonic X, but censored out to make them sound like they're saying bad words. Well, again, I think the Japanese version of X is better. It probably is. Because people actually it's die been... and they don't cut stuff out. Yeah. It's... You know, like four kids will yeah. cut out the. The gun soldier shooting at Chaos, even though they shot at Chaos in the game. But whatever. Four Kids just tries to make it overly... Well, Four Kids is not around anymore, so we don't have to deal with that. Wait, Four Kids is not around? You mean like... like no, they I think they call it bankrupt or something? I don't know, they're not... So, it didn't get shot down by Eggman's cannon in, like, um... The Sonic short? <laughs> no. <laughs> something happened to him, I'm not entirely sure what. All, all I know is if they're not around anymore, that's actually a really good thing. We don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> and maybe well, if they ever get another, another Sonic um, cartoon, maybe it would actually be decent. It won't be, man. I'm still waiting for my Sonic movie, just saying. We'll get it someday. I hope so. I, I think right now the Sonic franchise in general just needs to be... Get more trust yeah, I'm not expecting them to make a movie now. No, we're just getting better games instead of like 06, Shadow, which... I mean, Shadow was okay. It'd be funny if they ever did a movie. I'd laugh if they actually incorporated 06 in the movie. <laughs> just to mess with everybody. Imagine if they made a movie based on Sonic 06, just to mess <laughs> with people. <laughs> no, I would love for them to make like a Sonic Adventure 2 movie, because that's still my favorite Sonic story. I think Sonic Adventure 2 probably had the best fleshed out story in terms of like characters. I mean, I like, honestly, I like Unleashed his story, but, you know. And uh, Sonic Unleashed just feels like that typical story. It's not really unique. No, but sense. I do like Chip. I will put that out. Uh, People Chip hated Chip. Is, <laughs> Chip is the Navi for me, and I find them really, really, hey, really. Hey, hey, listen. Hello, hello, watch out. This is not Actually, Abby. No. <laughs> I found Navi a lot less. Hello, watch out. I don't hello, Navi hello, hello, hey, Speaking hello. of Legend of Zelda, what are your guys' opinion on Skyward Sword? I, I know it's not it. Sonic. I never played it. Q? I, I haven't played it because I can't really sell $100 for the game. Ah. Considering I never really... I can't really get that Wii Motion Plus bundle with it. I would have to spend money on a Wii Motion Plus controller, or maybe buy an accessory that allows Motion Plus, and then buy the game itself, which is still fifty dollars. That's at least yeah. ninety dollars right there, just for a uh, silver. I don't, I don't have it. I borrowed it from my brother and played it. Oh. What Sakani? I don't have a Wii. Remember oh. that? Right. Okay. I never bought. Well, it's like three-year gap. 
Else, I would have told you I'll probably. Really about Sky Wars <laughs> is that most people like it, but most of that brain scratch crew apparently don't like it. No, it's just Ryan who doesn't like it. Okay, Ryan. I've heard it's very but linear. Ryan. Oh wait, I can't insult him on actual line. Sorry. <laughs> you actually think like, you could have wanted this? What? One of the complaints that I heard about I'm um, gonna watch this. One of the things that I don't. Didn't like about that because you complained about the story being pretty much the same. The which, story in Skyward Sword is not the same as any other Zelda game. <laughs> well, the complaint that I heard was that they tried too hard to make it different, and therefore it was still the same. It, the well, end. it's definitely more cinematic, but I liked it. I, I like this story. The gameplay. Let's just say I like button mashing better than trying to line your swings. I've heard well, very, like, it's very, it's like, physical for it because of how the plus is. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like motion controls in terms of, like, aiming a hook shot or something, or, an, or a bow and arrow. But in terms of swinging your sword, I'd rather just either shake the Wii remote like Twilight Princess or press a button. Well, I didn't really like how they did that. I'd rather just have a controller. It was just mindless. Well, I mean, well, to be fair, Twilight Princess was a GameCube game to begin with, so they kind of just slapped the Wii yeah. on. And besides, it wasn't really that precise to begin with, you don't really have to... No, but I did like how Twilight Princess had the, uh, you can swing your sword and walk at the same time, which I don't know why they didn't bring that back. So you can't do that in... I don't think you can do that in Skyward Sword, not to my knowledge. Yeah, you probably... I would have to play it myself, but I don't really have the game, so... I mean, I... It's definitely worth a play at at least once, and you might enjoy it more than me, but if you're a Zelda fan, I'd say... Play it once. I enjoyed um, Twilight Princess. I absolutely adored Wind Waker. I think it's my favorite. Wind Waker is also my favorite Zelda too. Wind Waker is great. I didn't like Majora's Mask. I didn't like. I've never, Majora's Mask is one of the only Zelda games I've never beaten. I never really liked the. Q? You? you can't. Leave. We still have a race going on for that game. That's been going on since around the time YouTube streams ended. <laughs> and we never beat it. No, we both I, have. I, want... we both I, have to I don't have. Me. Oh, Q, fire wizards. Like oh, fire wizards. What do they do? They shoot fire? Do they shoot water? I don't know. I just beat him. <laughs> you actually have to use water barrels to uh, take out the fire, and then you can attack. Let's see. All the Zelda games I played, I played the original. I played Link to the Past for a little bit. Have you I played, played Link's Awakening? I don't think I played Link's Awakening. I played, um... The only, um... Zelda handheld I played is, um... Uh, Minish Cap. Mm. Well, Link's Awakening is no, my wait. favorite 2D Zelda. So. Wait, I played Ocarina of... No, wait. The Ocarina of 3D doesn't count as a handheld because it was originally a console. Game. Uh, well, I meant Oracle of Seasons. Oh. Uh, the, I haven't played those two. Oracle of the Seasons and Age. Well, here's the thing about Work of Seasons. The copy that I got at Work of Seasons, I think it counted as the second playthrough. Mm. And therefore, I got to play the actual final boss of the two games, which, you know, was Ganon. Nice. Spoiler. Well, apparently it I plays think... exactly like uh, Link, Link's Awakening. Yeah, that's what I heard. I watched them um, an LP of Link's Awakening and the Oracle games, which is how I figured out that I think mine was on a second playthrough because, well, when I watched the LP, I didn't know that the two games connected. All I knew was I just played the game and then I got up to Ganon and then never defeated him. Did they explain uh, why Ganon came back in that? Probably not. Um, actually, they do. It's um, you know the um two twins from Ocarina of Time. Uh, for what? From the Spirit Temple? Yeah. Yeah. They actually come back, and that's, they use the, um, something, something, and they revive Ganon. Wait, 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 so I'm assuming that this takes place after Ocarina. You know, in their three-way split timeline, that makes no sense. I'm going to assume that, but I don't... It's only two it. ways. No, in the official oh. Zelda timeline, it's three. In the official There's no official Zelda, Zelda timeline. timeline. Yeah, you know, there so is. They released a book that has the official timeline in it. Since in when? Ocarina. Um, a while ago? Huh? Uh -oh. If you look it up, there's one where, uh, you know, the adult Link, the child Link, and then the one timeline actually happens 
uh, it's called the Hero Falls. So Link actually died in one timeline. Yeah. Oh. And I think that's how. Um, isn't that how? Uh, Wind that's Waker? like Wind Waker, I think. And everything. Yeah, pretty much that the he dies, and that's what pretty much causes Wind Waker. Yeah, I I know there's a lot of people like my brother who complains about that section. Like, really, he doesn't die. But the problem is which timeline is actually more canon. Another alternative is canon, which one? Well, apparently they have every game on that timeline, like Four Swords Adventures and everything. They don't have the CDI games, obviously. <laughs> Who cares about them? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about the CDI games? Looking at I think they Zelda game on Wikipedia. I've played eleven of them, but I've only beaten three of them. Which ones? Uh, well, the, the original um, Ocarina of Time, and then um, well, actually four of them: the original Ocarina of Time, Wind Waker, and then Minish Cap. Have you? Do you, do you have Ocarina 3D? No, I have the collector's edition. Ah. I have Ocarina Time 3D, and I actually do like the controls in the game. I had no interest in buying it. I just bought it because I bought really it. The other game to buy at that time. I didn't really have any interest. Miracle Mask. I didn't the... Get Miracle Mask. I will get it. I just need to get money for the taxes. Get Miracle Mask. I will get Miracle Mask, you dumb dumb. And now we can I'm talk about play AL. It. Isn't it called a Lost Civilization A? Uh, let me look this up. That's the name right now for the last Waken game. Oh, they're which is probably gonna be. I they're going to keep that name probably about. Doesn't make. It I bet they're gonna change it though, because they always change. The title is Professor Layton and the Azran Legacies, which makes sense. Wait, aren't they making a Professor Layton and Phoenix Wright yes. crossover? Yes, that comes that's out. How I, that comes that's out how I found out about the Layton series to begin with, because I remember seeing the um, teaser for Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney. I'm like, oh my god, they're bringing back Did Phoenix you guys watch Wright. the uh, uh, Phoenix Wright movie? No. I haven't, but I'm probably going to torrent it eventually. <laughs> well then... <laughs> Isn't it only <laughs> Japanese only though? Yeah. It has English subtitles. If you can find Yay, subtitles! Subtitles are good. Kinda, I like, guess. kinda like um Eternal Diva. Like technically we don't have Eternal Diva, but the UK has it. No we have it over here. You just order it and then it's the British version. No we don't. I looked. Look on Amazon. Oh, guess, I I um, hey. guess what movie I watched since we've last talked, guys? Um Rick it Ralph, but no one cares. No, not that one. The Room. No. It's 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 a really bad movie. The Room. No. Q, you can buy it, but guess what? It's it's the British voice for voices. That's the yeah, only thing. Yes, well, no, you work at Amazon. The version that I got was, I think, the UK version, but, like, the titles have, like, Japanese text. The Super Which Mario Brothers no movie. Oh, it was awful. I watched it in this... Down to critics review of that. It's really bad. It's terrible. I heard it was good. You know what? It's terrible. The new Super the Mar the, the Mario thing... Brothers movie? No, the only good thing in it is the fact that uh, the guy from Speed is in it. But he plays. Um, um, Keanu Reeves? Um, I don't know who you're talking Bowser. about. No, 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 the old guy. Oh, the guy that got his head cut off. That's specific. The old guy. <laughs> the guy who plays Bowser, apparently. We got the guy that's head cough at the end of the movie. Which, if you, yeah. which I just wanted to tweet for you, guess what? It's like a 20 year old movie. If you haven't seen it by now, <laughs> guess what? You're probably never going to see it. What, Speed? Yeah. Or Mario? Did you guys Mario. know that Mario movie came out on Blu ray? Really? Makes sense. really? Yeah. It's on I don't know why. You can buy it for like 5 bucks at Target, the DVD <laughs> version. I could probably find it at um, my dollar store. I think I've seen it actually at my dollar store. And I've seen out there. Wait, is this the last Tomorrow Night Nation? Nation? Yes. Let's go. I've seen those on VHS. Isn't that... VHS still exist? Well, yeah. I mean, there's VHS tapes out there. Like, 
Goodwills and all that, and probably some video stores that they're still open. If I'm right, FYE still sells them, I think. It's just rare. Guess what? The Werehog rules, or so he said. You know, I remember when um, VHS was going out, and he's, there was still um, VHS being made, but it was becoming less and less as DVD was becoming more popular, and he kept beginning, coming soon to own the DVD and video. Oh and yeah, you posted a, you posted a gif of that before, didn't you? Like a week ago? Yeah. Sometime before then, it's like, I remember that, because it's like, coming soon to own on DVD and video. Because that was like a you, big you, part of my childhood. DVDs came out in like 2001, didn't they, or something like that? I know, yeah. That's a lot of videos. And it came silent again. <laughs> on, a, bro, on a gaming note, I like Shamar's night music. Yeah, I like it too. So, how many minutes have we actually talked about the game? Probably like, would be like our first. <laughs> In this part, anyway. Probably like two, if that. This is probably like the first time. Well, actually, we talked about the game in the first part, and you weren't there for the most of the part, so yeah. And we well, talked about the game for, like, the first five parts, and then... Then we just kind of went on our own little tangent. For the first part, for sure, we talked about the game. Yeah. So because we well, have like, the whole opening cutscene that, for some reason, doesn't play at the beginning of an actual game. The fourth wall yeah. breaking. Fourth wall breaking. And we're discussing... I thought they did that once more in this game, but I guess not. I'm assuming they don't. If so, it's at the end, because I haven't seen that. You haven't seen the ending of this? No. Really? Have you seen the final boss? No. Wow. Well, you're you know, speaking of final bosses, you know which final boss really is pathetically stupid? What? Yep. Generations. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> the Generations boss. What is with your laugh? <laughs> like... That boss is is stupid. It, is it cute? Okay, I already know what this is all about, but pretty much the entire boss is based on running towards it, and at random times it will run away before you can hit it. It has terrible per- perspective, and it does. And the game doesn't even really tell you how to actually fight him. Well, they tell. The only thing they tell you is, there's a homing shot, there's a homing shot, Sonic, a homing shot, a homing shot, a homing shot. Oh yeah, there's a homing shot, by the way. <clears throat> this iron crate- no, I hate Generations Final Boss. Well, the 3DS version of the Time Eater wasn't that bad, actually. But the I console version is horrible. Yeah, I've never gone to the Final Boss, because I stopped after Seaside Hill. Really? Yeah. So I, was, you- I was probably about to fight, um... Um, what was the boss the chaos? Fight? Yeah, I was probably. Oh, about the to perfect fight. chaos boss fight was actually pretty good. I didn't really exactly like the um, egg, death egg boss because it was. The it's, with that, we, they've done that boss already in Sonic Four. Yeah, and that one was just stupid. I didn't. The one really in like Sonic Four was actually hard. The one in Sonic Generations is pathetically easy. I I didn't like it in Sonic Four because. Especially towards the end, when you first play through it, if you don't know what to do, then you're just gonna die. And you have to do that whole thing yeah. all over again. And he takes. Well, I guess like you could say the same minutes. that they did that for the Egg Viper in Sonic uh, Adventure. Yeah, but that's more choreographed, though. I mean, you can see it comes towards you. And you're, you after a while, you can probably figure out, oh, yeah, it's probably gonna hit me. <laughs> yeah, that tends to happen. But, um, kind of reminds me of the, uh, which boss was it in Sonic 06 that did a similar thing? Egg like, Viper? Like, where it kind of... Yeah, that was... End- well, I don't know, there was two bosses that kind of did a death attack like that. It was the Egg Genesis and the Egg Viper. Yeah, I remember the Egg Genesis more than in the Egg... Egg Viper Sonic's last boss. Yeah. Because when I played Sonic 06, I actually beat Sonic's story. 
And I, I got the entire game them. eleven times. That's bad. That's, <laughs> that's pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. And, and you know what's worse? Playing through Sonic, Gen- Sonic Genesis two or three times. No, I don't think that's I worse. That. I haven't even played through the entire game. Thank you. Q, I don't think that's bad, because guess what? It takes more time to deal with it on 06. 06 takes about, what? Uh, a few Not hours. five hours, it's more than five hours. Okay, and how long would Genesis take you, probably? Like, at least, like, two hours, if that? Are we at the end of the well, part? I don't know. All the slowdown in Sonic Genesis might take you longer. I paused, and- so I don't know where we were. We are at 20.37. We're at the end of a part. Next time, we're going to Adabat, guys. Oh, I love Adabat. Until then, sayonara.